guys, it's Fiona from Eventide Reads and welcome to my monthly book haul. This book haul is a bit smaller than some of the past ones because I've been buying less books, requesting less books, generally receiving less books or being more picky about what books I actually take when I receive them. Side note, I don't just abandon books if I don't take them, I get them in the post unless I've specifically requested them. Um, I leave these other ones up for grabs in our staff room at work. So they go to other booksellers, don't worry. So let's just make a start on what I got this month. Let's start off with, unlike usual, some manga that I bought. The most recent volume of Horamiya, which is volume three, has just come out this month. So of course I had it on pre-order and it arrived into work whilst I was off on my holiday week. And I read it and I love these books so much. They are so cute and just so many things that you can relate to in everyday teenage life. Although I have to wait till July for the next volume now. Why you do this to me? I also couldn't help but buy the bind up of volume three and four of Millennium Snow by Bisco Hattori. This is the follow up to bind up of volume one and two that I hauled a little while ago and yeah we'll talk about these in a video soon. Now the next book I bought, I bought at the very beginning of the month before I decided I was going to stop buying so many books. Um, this is why I don't have as many books. And that is Starflight by Melissa Landers. I've seen this doing the rounds on the YouTubers and decided that one, it was space. Two, this cover feels amazing. It's so tactile. Like I was literally walking around work going, feel this book cover, isn't it beautiful? So lots of people <laughs> in my workplace were like, ooh, pretty. So I ended up buying it, American hardback, and you know, I'm a sucker for that. It's just, it's blues and purples and gold shiny with a planet. I just couldn't resist. I don't even know anything about it. I just know it's space orientated. The powers of the YouTube and the things it makes you do. And lastly, for books I bought this month, It's Only the Raven King by Maggie Stevata. So my pre-order came in early at work, so of course I made a special trip to go to work to collect it, because I wasn't going to wait the extra three days before I went back to work to collect it. Uh, I've only just started, like quite literally last night before I went to bed, I started it. Um, I haven't read any of it today, but I intend to later before I go to bed again. My heart is not ready. My heart is not ready. I'm sure I will do a series review or something when I finish this um, and the book's been out for a little while. Also, if you didn't know, um, Maggie Stewarta, apart from doing Yalk this year, is doing one other event while she's in the UK. And it's only at Waterstones Manchester Deansgate. And I'm only insanely excited and you should see, you should have seen me when, oh my god, I've been a bit crazy and I'd like to apologise to the events team because I've been a bit crazy about it, but they're amazing and we've got her and she's coming to my shop and this makes up for the three and a bit years ago she last came to the UK and my old boss wouldn't let me go and I'm just so excited, I'm gonna shut up now. Now let us move on to books that I received um, slash requested this month. The first one is And I Darken by Kirsten White. I've got a couple of Kirsten White's books. A few I have read, a few I haven't read. I'm ever so slowly collecting them at the moment. <laughs> I think I own all but one. I don't own the, the last one in her Paranormalcy series. I never got the last one for whatever reason. Um, but I've got a couple of other books to read and add this to the collection. Don't know much about it, but it's supposed to have a very, very strong female lead, hence all the female lead names on the book cover and the main character's name. So I'm just going to leave it at that and I'm sure I will get to it at some point soon. Thank you very much to Penguin Random House for this. The next two books I got are from Pan Macmillan, one from their teen range and one from their fantasy range, I believe. So I got Gilded Cage by Vic James, which by the way, I'm I'm looking at having bird cages with flowers and candles and stuff for my wedding centerpieces. So I saw this and was like, I want a bird cage like that, it's so pretty. Um, I'm pretty sure this is their main from their main fantasy range. Um, 
In modern Britain, everyone must endure 10 years of slavery for a magically skilled aristocrat. Here, a teenage boy dreams of rebellion, his sister thirsts for knowledge and will find love, and a dangerous young aristocrat, aristocrat, I always say aristocrat, <laughs> will remake the world with his dark gifts. So it is a urban fantasy, I guess, in a way, I don't know, it just, it looks really interesting, sounds really interesting, I don't know anything more than that, basically, but this comes out, it's on the back, Fiona. The 1st of December, so I've got a bit of time before it comes out to give it a whirl. And the other book they sent me is Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. This is the same author as the Anna Dressed in Blood series, which I read the first one off and thought it was okay. Um, wasn't as scary as I was expecting it to be. This one, I believe, is a fantasy. Um, a teen fantasy. The first sort of thing on the back that's like, hey, it's like da 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 doesn't sell it to me because it says Game of Thrones meets half bad and this powerful read about meeting your fate, facing your fears and pitting love against destiny. I'm not a fan of Game of Thrones nor am I a fan of half bad and that makes me very sad and I'm rhyming. <laughs> oh dear. But three sisters, one crown, a fight to the death. If it involves more to do with siblings fighting for a crown that could potentially be interesting to me because there's not a lot of that in YA. It's a lot of there is a person with the crown and someone else wants to overthrow them because they're a bad guy. So this has potential. Let's wait and see. This is due out in September? Yes, September. Apparently I can't count today. But yes, thank you Macmillan for both those. The next book is one I actually requested from Usborne because my boss got a copy and we all went a little bit mad for it because it sounds like it's going to be incredible. I haven't unwrapped it, even though it's a bit ropey because it's been ripped. Um, but I just wanted to show you that it came in this beautiful paper with the sticker from the front of the book, If I Was Your Girl. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Um, it's blurred by Jennifer Niven, The Proof, and you all know I love Jennifer Niven. Important and brave, read this wonderful book, just read it. This, I believe, is about um, a girl who is transgender, it's based partially on Meredith's own experiences and hopefully that will give it this authenticity that we're looking for. So we're really excited about this book and I'm going to read it and if it is as wonderful as I'm hoping, we're really going to go for it and we're going to push it um, because it could be absolutely amazing, it could be an absolute hidden gem and I'm so looking forward to reading this. So. Thank you very much to Osborne. I don't know if there's a, there we go, 1st of June is due out, so I need to read this very soon. Yes, I do. I also requested another book, and that is When We Collided by Emery Lord. And this is from Bloomsbury, so thank you very much to Bloomsbury. I have already read it, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was such a wonderful book, and I'm so in the mood for contemporary. It's getting to that time of year where Summer is starting to creep up on me a little bit and the contemporary feels have started early this year. Um, usually I can make it till like the end of May before I'm like, I need all the contemporary books! I haven't even made it to May this year. Nope. Contemporary all the way. Woo! So, really, really enjoyable book and I'm sure I will do a review or mix it in with some reviews in the future. Lastly is A Beast of a Book from Harper Voyager. So... I've seen the US cover for this and you all know that I love Illuminae so with a new Jay Kristoff book coming out I had to get my hands on it. This is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. This is not the final cover, this is a proof but holy crap this proof is so pretty. Do you want to know what sold me on it? At the time of his death a darkness joins Mia, a darkness that takes the shape of a cat. She calls him Mr. Ki Mr. Kindly and he drinks her fear. How terrifying is that? But it's a cat! And it's darkness and it gave me a Sabriel vibe and it's going to be like a darker Six of Crows meets Sabriel meets every fantasy you've ever wanted. I don't know, it just sounds like it's going to be incredible and I'm really excited. So thank you so much Half a Voyager for sending me this. You guys are amazing. So that's my book haul for this month. Some amazing, amazing books. What are you looking forward to that's coming out? There's only a couple of books left this year now that I'm so, so excited for. Now that I've got The Raven King, like the new Lainey Taylor and Jennifer Niven are sort of my next top two for the rest of the year. 
and I'm sure there's other books I'm excited for, but I have the Raven King! And I probably will have read it by the time this video goes out, but I have it and I'm excited about it now! So thank you so much to the publishers for sending me those books. You guys are amazing, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! This is Artemis. Hmm? Hmm? You're such a love bug compared to Blanston, aren't you? You're a love bug. Oh, sugar, you are so cute. Say hello. Mm -hmm. But you want feeding, don't you? Be good time. Darling, you alright? You're very quiet. Normally you chatters away to me.